the pistachio beetle. Grab a couple pistachios from the store. Try to look for a smaller one with symmetrical shells. I just start out eating like all of them. This tub used to be full before I started tying these. Once you find a good size pistachio shell, go ahead and crack it. Eat the nutritious and delicious morsel in it. And then set those two shells to the side. Pour some paint in a little uh, bottle cap. Then take a paintbrush. And start making even strokes over one of the shells. It may want to jump around on you, so go ahead and lay a finger on it. Even though it's still jumping around, try to get it an even coat over all of it, just carefully pushing it and laying paint on it. Having a piece of newsprint or just scrap paper under it helps deal with the mess. Once it's nice and covered, go ahead and set it away to dry. Once dried, grab some Sally Hansen's, or in this case, Sally Hansen's with a couple sparkles in it. I got this from my sister's room. Go ahead and lay nice, even coats over the shell to build up a nice, clear slash sparkly outer shell. This will also help keep the paint on it and the nut more durable. After you get a nice even coat, go ahead and let it set it to dry again. With the shell aside, start a hook in your vise. Take thread wraps at the bend of the hook. Get your hide of deer hair and cut a section about a pencil's in width. And then cut it down to maybe about a couple centimeters long. Then go ahead and wrap the deer hair, letting it spin around the hook shank. No need to pull tight as we are working with fairly small thread here. Do the same and grab yet another clump. Use the same, wrap about two times over it, and then push down and then let it spin around the hook shank. Then take forward thraps to really set it in place. You can, as you move on, start pushing the deer hair back, making a compact body. Grab yet another deer hair clump about the same size. Do the same process. Cut it to about two centimeters in length, put it on top of the hook, take a couple wraps over it, and then pull down on those thread wraps, making the hair spin around the hook. Bring your thread forward, push it back, take a couple more thread wraps. Now take a, yet another clump of deer hair and put it right in front of there. We're trying to cover up about two thirds or a little over half of the hook shank with deer hair. Use the same process as the past three and bring your thread up. Now grab a strand of rubber leg, fold it in half, and then cut it. Bring one half, fold it over your thread, and bring it on the far side of the hook. Then with the other half, fold it again over the thread and bring it on the near side. Take a couple more wraps in front of it while pushing them back. Leave them long as it will help get them out of the way because we're about to spin some more deer hair in front of it. Then grab another clump, about a pencil in width, take two wraps over it, and then pull it tight, making it spin around the hook shank. Bring wraps of thread forward, locking the deer hair in place. You want just a little bit in front of the, that part, leaving the eye just exposed for one more little piece of deer hair. You can make this a little bit smaller if you want not to crowd the eye. Use the same process and push it all together, leaving the eye exposed, creating a nice, neat head. Once you reach there, go ahead and whip finish, and then cut off your thread. Now we will shape the deer hair. Invert the hook and just make a nice flat cut right at the bottom of the hook, now on top. Making sure not to cut the legs, cut the sides up at a nice taper. Then cut the back, making sure that there are no sticking fibers out of the butt of the hook. It should line up with the bend. Make sure the bottom's flat and cut square even cuts on the sides, tapering it down to the pistachio uh, shell's shape. You want the broad side on the front, and it will taper back. Now cut the top nice and smooth. 
you want the shell to kind of fit over this. You can go ahead and keep measure it actually with the shell. Make sure you got the right proportion. This here is still a little too fuzzy. So I'm going to cut it some more. Once you get it to a good shape and the shell fits pretty good, go ahead and just put the shell on again just to be sure that it's perfect. Once that's good, set that aside, grab some super glue. Take a couple drops right on top of the fly. I like to use gel super glue as it won't seep in through the fibers super fast and it will actually attach to the shell better. Now go ahead and push the shell on and just hold it there for a couple seconds, letting that glue set in and actually attach to the deer hair. Once it's good and firm, take your rubber legs, measure them to the back of the body and cut them off. Slightly extending pass. Pull them to the side and that's about the fly. That's it. And the pistachio bug is done. Oh, again, I, just to add durability, although not necessary, I like to add a couple wraps of Sally Hansen over the shell so it doesn't break off on any rocks. Now it's done.